Hawaii Today. Hawaii's Kilauea volcano erupts at a remote peak area. Kilauea volcano on Hawaii's Big Island erupted Monday after hours of seismic activity beneath the volcano's peak, the U.S. Geological Survey said. Kilauea, one of the world's most active volcanoes, began erupting around 12.30 local time, about a mile south of Kilauea's caldera in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, a popular tourist destination that attracts more than 1 million visitors a year. Webcam footage shows lava spewing from fissures in the summit, USGS said. Katie Mulligan, a geologist with the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, told USA Today that the eruption does not pose an immediate danger to residents because, so far, it has only occurred on remote parts of the peak, which are not accessible by cars or trails. There really is no threat to any community, Mulligan said, adding that the USGS will continue to monitor the volcano's activity closely. This is the first eruption in this volcanic region in almost 50 years. The last one, in December 1974, lasted about six hours. The USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory on Monday raised the volcano's alert level for ground hazards to warning, meaning a dangerous eruption is current, underway, or expected. Furthermore, the USGS issued an aviation color code red, indicating, significant volcanic ash emissions are likely, suspected, or imminent, according to the US Geological Survey. This warning comes after hours of increased activity beneath Kilauea's surface. On Sunday, about 400 earthquakes were recorded beneath Kilauea's peak, with the largest reaching 4.1 on the Richter scale, Mulligan said. Seismic activity is common before eruptions and is an indicator of lava movement within the volcano, he added. The main danger of a Kilauea eruption is high levels of volcanic gas due to potential impacts downwind, the USGS said. Other significant hazards include instability, ground cracking, and rock slides that can be exacerbated by earthquakes near the summit. Authorities at the National Forest Service closed off the area around the volcano, citing seismic unrest. Officials also closed the parking lot for the Annihilation Trail, which takes hikers through a winding path that offers views of land still recovering from a 36-day volcanic eruption in 1959. Kilauea erupted three times last year, bringing more than 10,000 tourists to Hawaii Volcanoes National Park to see the lava fountains. In 2018, the volcano erupted for three consecutive months, destroying more than 700 buildings, including 200 homes on the Big Island, and displacing about 3,000 people, many of whom were unable to return home for a year after the eruption.